So I'm trying to get this wax to come out and it's not working too well. This is the one that I cut earlier and when I I didn't quite put the right taper in the plug and so it's very difficult to get out to begin with and as I pull it out you can see that there's a piece of spaghetti inside this mold that unfolds as I pull it. If you look right down in there you, that is rubber that's tearing. So I'm, I'm pushing this rubber beyond the boundaries that it should go. So I'm trying to keep it from tearing further but clearly this is not going to be a production mold. And the reason that it's causing so many problems is because I didn't cut it in such a way that the plug unravels in an organized fashion. The best way for it to happen on a mold like this is when I'm pulling this out of the mold the spaghetti should peel the bottom of the plug out of the cavity. This part and this part comes first. And then the piece of spaghetti begins to unfold. Now my big mistake here was to cut too narrow of a spot here. I should have only cut that far. But the biggest mistake was that I did not attach the spaghetti to the bottom of this inside of the ring. So this right here should have been attached right there. So that what happens is when you pull this out of the mold, this guy gets turned inside out and gets pulled out. Because this is this part right here is quite flexible. The inside of the piece is quite flexible. So if you can get this guy to unfold inside the mold, then it leaves a really beautiful wax in the mold, and that wax pops right out. As you can see, I'm still having trouble with this mold. So back to the drawing board. Now, if you have a drawing board, good. If you don't have a drawing board, I suggest you get one. And what that means is this is not a failure. This is an experiment on my part because I've never made this sort of a mold for this kind of a ring before. Um, the upcoming mold that I'm going to show you is a mold style of cutting that I learned back in the 70s. And uh, it works well enough, but it's an old style mold. This plug right here is a much newer style Italian uh, style, at least that's where I learned, is from um, um, the Nissan company in, in Italy, but um, I know it's going to work, and I just have to keep, uh, just have to keep trying it until it works out. So Thanks for watching FlexibleJewelryMolds.com, and I hope you'll visit my website and sign up for the mailing list. Thanks again.